Here's the final output of what we just finished K mapping. So as you can see, uh, we're going to go ahead and play it. So our initial state is zero, and we are in zero zero zero. So we are zero 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 one. Okay, makes us go to the second one in our date up here, the seven. All right, next up should be our dash. So that should be zero one zero. Next we should be at the four, and that's zero one one. So this is zero four here. So next will be the digit four. This is the zero four part. Next will be the digit four, and that's one zero zero. Okay. Next we'll have another dash at one zero one. Then we'll have the eight at one one zero. And lastly we'll have the seven at one one one. So there's a way of going through our circuit for the date zero seven dash zero four dash eight seven. Notice that some of the segments share data. So the output of segment A is one of the actual inputs for segment F. All right, so you can steal and beg and borrow and, and do all those sort of great things. Uh, once you've already created the circuit, there's no need to replicate it. So if you look at segment F, right, segment F's min terms are A bar, B, C bar, or A, C, or B bar, C, what we calculated previously. Notice I have nothing before that OR gate. That's because those signals are already done. Notice the first signal, the purple line, okay? That's the A bar, B, C bar. And then the bottom signal, the kind of greenish grayish line that comes into uh, pin two, all right? That is the A, C, or B bar, C. So those signals were already created. We don't need to redraw those parts of the circuits we can just grab them from where they are.